Is the problem that the Obama administration wanting to be something other than President Bush got out of the business of confronting terrorism on a big global scale and just uh, dealt with it in a more limited way? Is it an underreaction to the terrorist threat? Don't forget, they invited us to leave in Iraq. Isn't it galling to you as a United States Senator that we, the American military, are targeting assets that ISIS has in its control that are American assets, American military hardware that they stole, left behind because we got out of Iraq? How many times has this happened in history where the United States with the best military in the world goes in and fights a war, leaves behind equipment and ordnance, and then finds it being used, perhaps even against it in the next conflict? This is not new. If this doesn't work, the goals that have been spelled out, which is preventing genocide, stopping ISIS, protecting the Kurds and American personnel, if an air campaign of some duration does not work, what do you believe, Senator Durbin, is America's responsibility to counter these threats? Well, I can tell you this, escalating it is not in the cards. Neither the American people nor Congress are in the business of wanting to escalate this conflict beyond where it is today. And the great danger is this becomes a mobilizing, rallying cry to, to draw thousands of other, not only um, Arabs and Muslims, to the cause, but Westerners as well. But of but course, it's not to, to say that, that, that they wouldn't be up to this uh, had the United States not had a presence in the region. It's not as if they, these were good boys and girls who were on the sidelines and then America came and decided to become but, bad people. But remember that there was no Al-Qaeda in Iraq yeah. before the U.S. intervention. There was no Hezbollah in Lebanon before the Israeli invasion. That sometimes there are unintended consequences of invading somebody else's but territory. But just please remember that the 9-11 attacks were not caused by the 2003 invasion of Iraq. I mean, that happened well right. after. And you know, and so let's get the sequence. Final, final point.